Sheriff's Communication uh, Dispatcher 5538. Well, I've got a situation. Last night, a friend of mine asked me to come over. She said that she had possibly killed her stepdad. I don't know if she really did this. Well, what exactly are your reports? It sounds like she killed this guy. A Solana Beach interior designer convicted of killing her stepfather after she discovered hundreds of nude photos of herself on his computer has been sentenced to 25 years to life in state prison. Jade Sasha Junks, 39, was found guilty by a Vista jury of first-degree murder in the death of 64-year-old Thomas Merriman, co-founder of Butterfly Farms in Encinitas. Prosecutors allege Yankee killed Merriman on deck. 31, 2020, using a combination of strangulation, asphyxiation, and a lethal dose of prescription pills. Police found his body under a pile of trash in his driveway on Jan. 2, 2021. Did you love Tom? Yes. Tom love you? Yes. I mean, did you want your stepfather dead? Did you stand over him with a plastic bag and pull tight to keep him from breathing? No. Did you wrap a cord around his neck? No. And did you strangle him? No. Prosecutors said that Yank's discovery of nude photos taken years earlier, depicting a consensual affair with her, then boyfriend prompted her to devise a plan to kill Merriman with the help of several other people. She asked one of them to strangle Merriman and told another that she had done it herself, according to prosecutors, who said she planned to stage Merriman's death as an accidental overdose. Yank's attorney, Mark Carlos, told jurors that Merriman's death was the result of substance abuse and general poor health. The official cause of Merriman's death was ruled an overdose of prescription pills, and Carlos argued that there was little evidence that he was strangled or suffocated. At Yank's sentencing hearing, Carlos said Yank's intended to appeal. She has maintained her innocence throughout this case and continues to do so, Carlos told the court. But is that really the case? On the last day Merriman was seen alive, Jinx picked him up from a medical facility, and by that point, prosecutors said she already had a plan in place to kill Merriman with the help of a man prosecutors called a fixer. At trial, Jinx testified that she understood the man worked in security and she needed his protection when she confronted Merriman about the nude photos. After Jinx picked up Merriman on deck, 31, she was accused of texting the repairman. I just dosed him and then stopping by the mall to buy items that prosecutors believe were used in the murder. When the repairman was unable to travel to Solana Beach that day to assist in the murder, prosecutors allege he sent a friend in his place. When that friend arrived, Yanks is accused of telling him, I want you to strangle him and then bring him inside. I'll take care of the rest myself. The man didn't want to get involved and left, Deputy District Attorney George Del Portillo told jurors. Prosecutors allege Jinx then contacted his friend. When he arrived, Jinx allegedly told him she killed Merriman and wanted him to help her move the body. Prosecutors allege he also left and called police the next day. Del Portillo said Monday that Jinx then used either a grocery bag or a pillowcase to strangle Merriman, who was under the influence of drugs. When that didn't kill him quickly enough, she used her bare hands to strangle him, prosecutors said. During the trial, Jinx testified that after being discharged from the medical facility, Merriman was heavily drugged and she enlisted the help of others to move him into her home. When she was unable to move him on her own, she left him in her vehicle to sleep. On the morning of John, one, she said, she moved her vehicle to Merriman's house and realized he was dead when he became cold to the touch. When asked why she didn't call 911 at that point, Junk said she was afraid she would be charged with Merriman's murder. In a panic, she tried to move him into a wheelchair to take him to the house, 
but his body fell into the driveway, she testified. Not wanting neighbors to see, she said she piled empty boxes and other trash on top of Merriman to hide him until she could figure out what to do. Later that day, Yanks was pulled over by a police officer and texted the repairman, Lose my number. I'm getting pulled over. Jenks testified that she wrote the text message because she didn't want the man to come under unfair suspicion by police. Carlo said Monday that there was some behavior between Jenks and Merriman as teenagers, which the attorney said influenced her reaction to Merriman coming home from a medical facility and realizing she had discovered the photos on his computer. Carlo said she had family members and friends she could rely on for help, but she panicked. Jenks told Superior Court, Judge Robert Kearney on Monday, that Merriman influenced her by coming into her life at an early age. She claimed that this influence eventually manifested in coercion and psychological manipulation. Regarding the days following Merriman's death, Jinx said, I'm very sorry that I didn't behave the way I should have that day. I've thought about it every day since. She also addressed Merriman's family in court, to Tom's family. I know you hate me for what you think I did to Tom, but there are many other things you will never understand. Jinx's biological father also spoke out in court. Jade was always kind and loving to both people and animals. She could never put up with anyone being hurt. I don't believe for a minute that Jade planned this in advance or would ever intentionally take a person's life. I don't believe her heart would have allowed her to do that. Several of Merriman's friends and family members spoke in court, including one of Merriman's brothers, Terence Merriman, who told the judge only someone Tom trusted could have done this to him. He called Yanks a liar and said, if the murderer dies in prison, the state will treat her remains more humanely than it treated my brother. I want the court to know that denying the killer in the face of overwhelming evidence against her hurts me. The jury's quick deliberation certainly refuted that. Tom came into my life when I was just a little girl and exerted influence during that early stage of development when I was still figuring things out. Unfortunately, that influence manifested itself into appropriate touch, coercion, reckless behavior, and complete violation of what I now realize is years of psychological manipulation. All of this came crashing down on me when I found hundreds of naked photos of myself and his computer. Felt shattered. He's a liar, and we all know it. Another brother, Patrick Merriman, was very emotional as he recalled all the roles Tom Merriman played. Tom was a son, brother, father, best man, mentor, business executive, co-worker, and best friend.